guys so today it is saturday which is november 21st i believe and i was just doing a lot of work this morning um it's about one o'clock in the afternoon now but i had to get done um some actual work work and then also i was editing a video that goes up tomorrow so that's all i was doing all day really but i do have to do an errand and then just something else um for one i need to get these nails redone as you can see they are well past due so gonna go get a fill in but before I do that I also want to drop off some um well a box of stuff that I have for Goodwill and I'll show you that in a minute of course so that's what I have planned for today and I think my packages came in today which are my Ivy Park Adidas collaboration the black pack so I'm giving you guys a little haul after I pick them up when I come back from doing my errands and everything so stay tuned for that and yeah so here's a box of stuff that I have to take to Goodwill, um, or as people say, the Goodwill. It's basically, honestly, a lot of different clothing items that most of it is actually um, like new stuff. This jacket is completely new. I also have this one as well. As you can see, the tag is still on there, but it's a bunch of clothes that I just need to basically give away. And I do like list a lot of things on Poshmark, but I just decided... Well, what I do is twice a year when I'm just switching out my closet from, if it's switching from, you know, putting out my summer clothes in the summertime, I get rid of a lot of the summer stuff that I know I'm not going to wear. And I do the same thing when it is also winter time. So I put out my winter clothes, of course, well, autumn, winter, and, and I might as well just, you know, give them away. And if you guys want to get actually check out my Poshmark for a few things that I post on there, I might put some new stuff up, up pretty soon. So, but yeah, let's get all of this to the Goodwill. Yeah, so what happened was, you know when you get a little color wheel so you can choose a like a color from all the different shades that they offer? So I got through all of that and I finally found, like, I had a picture of what I wanted. It was this really pretty, like, very um, fall-inspired nail design little look. But I basically looked through all the colors and I found that one, which is very similar to, you know, what I wanted from the picture. Um, my first mistake was I didn't set an appointment, so I did a walk-in and... It's like a store that's owned by two brothers and they have workers. So I usually go to like one of the brothers who's like really amazing. He does a great job on my nails. Um, he was basically booked at that point. So I just went with like, you know, new girl. I'm not opposed to trying somebody new once in a while. And she was okay. Not the best in like shaping. I feel like it wasn't my usual, you know, taste, but she wasn't bad or anything. Anyhow, we got to the point of you know, picking out a nail color, they went in the back, got the one that I showed them. And it was like not the same at all. For one, the color I was looking at on the paper was like more of a deep orangey, sort of orange brown. And this was red, like dark red. So I told her, um, this isn't the color that it said on, you know, the choices. So she took me back there. We went through a whole bunch of colors and she's like, well, the color it said like on the bottle is not what it shows on the picture for some reason. So unfortunately, that's the one we have. Um, so that of course threw me off because I was like, damn, I really wanted that specific color. Anyhow, she was very helpful. She was like trying to help me get another color I might like, another shade. But at that point, like we just couldn't find anything similar. And I was getting hungry because I made the mistake of not eating before going there. Like, so I'm hungry, I'm tired. I'm just like going through colors and I was fed up. And at that point, the hunger won because we were just like looking for colors. I was like, I'll just choose anything. And I chose this one, which I'm not regretting. But I didn't care at the point. I was hungry. I just wanted to get out of there, get the food. Like the hunger was stronger than my need to wait. So I could wait no longer. That kind of rhymed. So yeah, I got this, unfortunately. And I can't wait for this to grow out. I just can't wait for it to grow out so I can actually 
find a color similar to what I actually initially wanted and get that done. Um, but yeah, that was my, I guess, mail fail. So finally picked up my ASOS package and Lori's being nosy as always. You in my business? Don't do that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and, well not unbox it, but unpackage um, my Ivy Park Adidas collaboration. Right, Lori? So I just went ahead and made a full fit for you guys because it'll be a little easier that way to show you everything, but best believe I would not be wearing these things together. <laughs> I'll start off with the hat, which is just a black hat with the three stripes and then the Ivy Park logo right here on top in like green, is it? Yeah. No, I'm lying. It's in the same like color as this, which is like camel. Now I'm not in love with the hat just because like it makes this weird like fit right around here. There's like spacing, which is weird because they use like the stiff material right here, but it's, the back is softer, so. So it kind of fits my head kind of weird because of that hard material that they made in the front, but I guess depending on my hairstyle, I could maybe make it work. Then I picked up the hoodie, which is actually, I had to get from Champs because it was already sold out. And I actually got this in the Drip 2, which you released with like the corals and the, I guess, the dark green and all that. So I picked up this hoodie and this was a struggle to get. So. I actually bought it two weeks ago and I only got it today because it was back ordered and I was like, please just come through. But yeah, the hoodie is a size extra small. Yes, because it was like unisex. And, and I'm so happy that I picked it up in the extra small because it's still pretty big and just oversized like I like my hoodies and sweatshirts. We've got the neon Adidas logo right here and an Ivy Park also in neon. And then just the three stripes going down the shoulder. But I just, again, love this color. And then I got the leggings. Unfortunately, I could only get this in an extra small because they were sold out in my size, which is a regular small. So <laughs> they are a little bit tighter than I'd like. But what I might do is um, I might actually just um, sell these on StockX, but I gotta wait because again, I ordered from three different sites. Basically ASOS Champs and then the Adidas app itself, which I only got one thing from, which is the matching sports bra for the leggings. So it's supposed to be like a workout kind of set, but I will wait to see how the leggings look with the bra, because I got the bra in a size small. So so if together it creates like a weird uh, muffin top, I will not be keeping these. I might just sell them and then probably get my actual size, a size small on like StockX or something, because they're not that more expensive for resale right now. So it just depends. But Adidas is taking forever. It's not getting here till a week from now, really. Like, tell me how the other stores, like ASOS and Champs, can deliver stuff, but the actual store Adidas that did a collab cannot. Crazy, I tell ya. But yeah, this is what, I guess, a couple of items look like. Okay, that's some better lighting. But yeah, as you can see, it is this cute little, like, dress. It's actually like a hoodie skirt dress, so it's attached here at the sides. Um, right here, as you can probably see a little bit. But yeah, I really like this one. It is very chill. I don't know where the heck I would ever wear it, <laughs> but I do like it a lot. And since it's attached, like I wish I could actually detach it so I could wear like the cropped hoodie and the skirt if I needed to separately. Who knows, maybe I will one day. Now this is just so cute to me. It's like very street wear, I feel like. And throw on some sneakers and you would be good to go, but this is what the dress looks like. Again, it does have the same little like Ivy Park written in the logo, drawstrings, and all that good stuff. Very casual fit. And I got this one just in regular size small because it is just like, you know, normal sizing for this. And this was the only thing I managed to get in the second drip or drip two as she called it. It was just this little bodysuit, which is the light blue with the dark green stripes going down the side. And again, it's just got Ivy Park in the neon green. But it was such a struggle getting stuff. Like I didn't get anything really in the first drip. Again, the second drip sold out. And ASOS, thank God, came through with just getting this. And then, thank God, I learned my lesson a little bit more because I got a couple more stuff off of ASOS and Champs in the black pack. But yeah, this is a size small in the bodysuit and it is like a knitted material, so it's pretty thick and nice. But obviously, I can't wear this anytime soon. But definitely, you know, next year when it gets a little warmer in the spring or summertime, I will find some way to wear it because just a basic bodysuit, of course, which you can't go wrong with. But yeah, that but that is everything I got from the Adidas and Ivy Park collab so far. She better not release anything else till 2021, March, April, because 
I ain't got no money for you, Beyonce. Like, stop, girl. That is basically it for tonight, guys. Um, for Saturday, that's basically it for this vlog. <laughs> Next week, I'm gonna be going down to um, basically like my family. They stay in the Savannah area in Georgia, so I'll be down there for Thanksgiving weekend. And you know, I'll take y'all on whatever I'm doing then. And why is this pimple just staring at us on my chin? Anyway. But in the meantime, for this vlog, you guys will see Friendsgiving and what we're doing then. So you can just wait for that in three, two, one. And we're off to Friendsgiving. Got the goods, so here we go. the spread and we have the most important thing here which is the fry plantain <laughs> and of course my lovely chicken that I made and now this girl over here you know what she's gonna do she bought a pie and she's gonna put it in an oven and pretend like she baked it herself <laughs> Lori fooling Tanisha nobody Everyone. Mm -hmm. 